the time has come. Yes. We're going to do something. What that, are we going to do? What are we going to do? What that do? I didn't know we were going to try to do again. Out. If not, it's going to be great content, you watching what we do. Look at this. That's not good. Good morning. Good morning. The time has come. Yes. We're going to do something. What that, are we going to do? What are we going to do? What that do? I didn't know we were going to try to do again. Oh, we knew. Some, somehow. You know me. I was going to go for this to second time. This is take two. It's not gate guarding. It's no, not that. No, not gate guarding. <laughs> we're going to attempt to boondock. But hopefully... For not just three days like last time. For a full five days. Yeah, so we got to get up there. I'm very nervous that there's not <laughs> going to be a spot for us. It is a holiday week. It is a holiday week. So I'm a little nervous. But we're going to try this. If not... What do you mean try? We are going to do it successfully. We don't have a backup plan if they're all the spots are full. So stay tuned <laughs> to see what ends up happening. So we got to get on the road. So anyways, we got this. We got this. We got this. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, now that we're on the road finally. <laughs> yes. It took a minute. We had a dump because we had no no yeah. service. It was not. just electric at that. Yeah. So. Yeah, no water either. Just electric. Yeah. Either way, so let's tell you about where we stayed in our little stop off on our way to our next destination. Yes. So where did we stay? It was Shadron State Park in Nebraska. Um, it was the, Nebraska's very first state park. But what's kind of cool was... Surprised uh, me. Yeah. Because we were just driving along and it was all plains and like these rolling hills, which... We don't picture Nebraska being I'm rolling hills. I'm still baffled either. by it because it looks like more like Montana or I don't know, maybe yeah. different parts of Nebraska, but it wasn't all flat. So, anyways, I but digress. then again, we come over this hill and there's all these trees, these ponderosa trees. I thought for sure we were already in the Black Hills. Yeah, it was crazy. Come to find out, that is a man-made forest. Yeah, the 1902 a botanist. I forget his name. I will find his name. Don't swerve. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> Well, Charles E. I excuse if I mispronounce it. Bessie. Bess. Okay. I think. Yeah. Twenty thousand acres, ponderosa pines. Yep. He basically planted it on the plains to see if it would grow, and it grew. Yeah. So he basically recreated what he believed used to be here. Yeah. So is, it's kind of cool. And the campground, if you're ever in, coming this way for yep. whatever reason, it was a cool campground. Yeah. Tucked back in there. You still heard a little road noise, but yeah. quiet for the most part. Northwest Nebraska. Yeah. So, so not too bad on fees. We were a little confused. Yeah. On He booked it online. So, of course, you got fees for that. Yeah. And I think all said and done, it was supposed to be like $39, which, okay, that's fine. Um. But then as I was reading, it said to get into the park, you have to have a pass, like a permit. And if you're a non-resident for one day, it was like 14 bucks. So when you have the two together, you could have really just went to a regular campground, but it was fine. But then really, they never came, there was no one there at the shack when we checked in. No. Our name was on the, our pedestal, so we didn't even need to do that. And they said to put the like permit thing in your truck. Well, I don't have a printer set up because there was no internet. We had horrible internet last night. That's the only thing. Yeah. And um, so we didn't print it. So never everyone came by and checked. So Nebraska got 14 bucks from me. So congratulations. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we were supposed to pay it and we had it just in case. I have no idea. Yeah. So I didn't on the side of error. Yeah. But yeah. So we got, we have, I have T-Mobile. He has Verizon. And my T-Mobile was fine on my phone. The Same tower, with me. The tower was awful. It didn't pick up for some reason. And then his phone was fine, and we didn't want to bring our, out our Starlink because we yeah. paused it to see if yes. how long we can go with pausing it. Yeah. And um, so we just hot spotted on his phone. Yeah. For like an hour and a half last night, we really were outside most of the night. But because um, it was nice. Yeah, it was beautiful last night. So, anyways, just fact: if you come through there, just keep an eye on yeah. what the the campground the does have. Oops. Turn left on West Fourth Street. The, <laughs> the campground had 
50, 30, 20. Oh yeah. They had community water, so there was a spit at every couple of campgrounds, so. That you could stop and fill up, I guess? Yeah, that's or just, run a really long still, hose. That's really weird to me still, I don't know. <laughs> they had a dump, a good wide dump, yeah. so that was nice. Yeah. And dumped so. all the way out. So anyways, thought we'd share those facts with you. Now we're on the road for another couple hours, and yep. fingers crossed, <laughs> we will find a spot. It if will not, all work out. If not, it's gonna be great content, you watching what Beef. we do. Us, us struggling to, <laughs> to figure, figure out. out what we're doing for the next week because we don't have a campground reservation for another six days yes so we'll see all right we'll fun times all right let's see if i can show you what we went through i don't know i don't know if, it'll come I don't know if it's gonna come out i will try to see hold on just a second on to us 385 north hold on let's see no, nope, you won't be able no, to see it. No, you can't see it. Okay. So, the moral of the story is, if there is a sign in multiple spaces that says, no cars or vehicles over 10 feet wide, you're good. Which we're okay. We're not over 10 foot no. wide. And 40 feet long. Okay, well, maybe it was longer than 40 foot. You should probably pay attention to that. <laughs> we're Even, fine. We're back on the road. No problem. Okay, all these GPSs are talking. Um, I had to look at my phone a lot while he was maneuvering, and that's why I didn't film it, because I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> it was a lot of construction, one lane, mud, Right through downtown Hot Springs. Right through downtown Florida. Hot Springs, dirt roads, because they're digging the roads up, and very sharp turns with, like, cement, what are those called? Barriers. Barriers on one side and cones on the other side. Oh, my God. I was just like... We're just going to have to park it right here. Hey, we made it. We made it. We maneuvered. I we, told we, you we'd make it. We didn't listen to either GPS. Well, one of the GPSs. I don't know, but we're not even there yet. We made it. No problem. Whew, good Lord. You okay. can breathe now. I can for the next 30 minutes until we get to where we hopefully we're going. Yeah, that was a rough one. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. We're about a half mile from our turn. Hmm. Huh. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. And of course, it's raining. Because <laughs> why wouldn't it? But there's blue skies in front of us. So like Joel says, it just, it just needs, needs to go. go. Just, just go. needs to go. Just go. Fingers crossed we find something. Road. We're at 5,200 foot of elevation and it's 50 degrees right now. Yeah, a little chilly. We're in shorts and flip-flops. But we did pass a bunch of campgrounds on the way back, or way up here. So if it doesn't work out, for whatever reason, we won't like the prices, I'm sure. But at least there's a place to stay because they didn't look full. So we'll see. Yes. But I prefer not to pay for things right now. Right. So. Because we cheap. We're very cheap right now. So, all right. I like how she says turn on the unpaved road. Yeah. This will be fun. This is the sign right up here. Oh, blue sea. Oh, this is going to be fun. Not a problem. We got a spot. We got a spot. What did you say? It's farther back than you thought? I didn't think, yeah, I didn't know how far that road went. Okay. So it is definitely we're back in here two and a quarter maybe two and a half miles back but let me just show you what the the lovely road it wasn't a bad road but it's rain, been raining so look at look at our landing gear here <laughs> it is definitely dirty look at these jacks oh my goodness wait till you see this back one look at this that's not good and we don't have an unlimited supply to run a hose and clean them off so Hopefully, when we get to our campground campground next week, we'll be able to clean them out again. But, all right, let's get set up. Okay. Afternoon. Yes, we finally got ourselves set up. Yep. Had a sandwich. Had to turn on Starlink. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I didn't want to. But, but we had, like, I so my Verizon had, like, very little service, and it wasn't going to be nothing. enough I had nothing. That's zero goose egg. Yeah. So, so, we tried to scan the channels on the TV for the dogs. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. So that's an LG channel on their cell. They yeah. don't care what they watch. But this is our kind of setup for the week. Yep. Uh, we do have one, 
I guess, kind of neighbor across the road from us. Yeah. Um, There's been more cars that have gone up and down this road than I thought there'd be. Yeah. And some ATVs. Not horrible. It's still pretty quiet, though. Yeah. So let's let's show you what we got. So we got our little area there to sit and eat. Hope It's a little sunny, but yeah. that's okay. The dogs are in hog heaven because they have a pen to sit outside <laughs> for a while. And then the truck. And then that's our backyard and front yard. It's our view. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. The weather's perfect. Oh my goodness. So what do you think? I'm happy. Are you happy is the question. I'm happy at the moment. Let's go get some water. Okay. Well, this looks like it's going to be fun. <laughs> We've come to get ourselves some water. Does he look like he's having fun yet? So much fun. So what do you got? So it's a 63 gallon bladder that I'm cheap. So I bought it off of Amazon for like 40 bucks, I think. I have no idea. Something like that. And then I made my own plumbing pieces so that- it... Which probably cost him another $20. <laughs> and then what else did you have to buy afterwards? Oh, then we had to buy a water pump. Then we had to but... buy a water pump because he tried to do it without the water pump and the water just trickled. Yes. So oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, yay. Okay, let's figure out if we can get this to even work. There's no rivets. Yeah. Just shove it on there. You gotta take your regular aid off there. That's not gonna work. Help me hold it? Might have to. Let's see here. Okay, go ahead. That's not going down the hose, no. is it? Yeah, it, it is, is. actually. Ooh, that's making a mess. You have to hold it. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay. <laughs> Got to time out and figure out what we're doing. That didn't work. It had no spig No spigot. Yeah, it was just basically like a... I don't even know what you would call that. I don't know, but we couldn't get the hose to work to stick on there, even with holding it. So yeah. now we got to go try to hunt down water, and it doesn't help that we don't have service. No. So I think in Custer there's a gas station we can get water. I'm just gonna have to go. I'm in sure there. it's gonna be pricey. Yes. It's gonna be really pricey. So Okay, well let's go get some water. The hunt continues. The hunt continues. Alright, take two. We had to stop at what is it? Four mile. Four mile campground? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. I don't know. They let us fill up for five dollars and some change. So yes. now we gotta do that. This will be interesting. It's missing its thing. What's missing its thing? The little rubber thing. Because you took it out. Out, out of this, not out of the flow meter. I don't know. It's not one thing, it's another. It's not back there, is it? Back where? Oh, I know what I can grab. Hold on. Hold, please. It's never simple, is it? <laughs> never. Is it ever? No. Would it be fun if it wasn't simple? Oh my God, he's cannibalizing parts. That's my job. There we go. Come here. There you go. And in a week, he's going to go, where's that part that I did? I'm <laughs> like, you cannibalize it. Probably. Probably. Come on. Do you need help? <laughs> Mental, yes. How many people does it take? Did you test the water before you even did it? Oh, that's great. You're welcome. <laughs> Works. <laughs> Six hours later. All right, let's see if this works. We got a kink. That's a good sound. We have water. We have water. It's gonna take a little while. It's gonna, we take, have water. A, it's gonna take a moment. <laughs> well, that looks like 55 gallons. Yes, it does. We were shooting for 60, but I don't think we could fit any more in there. No. Even though it says a set holds 63. It's a little water, baby. <laughs> All right, let's go so we can see if we can put it in the RV yes. so it's actually useful. Yes. Are you ready for water? I guess. I'm a I'm little perplexed of how you're going to do this because I was inside and now I come out and I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> All right, let me show you what I got going on here. Oh, boy. So... I've got my positive and my negative set up right here, right? Wire running. This is to my truck battery so that I don't kill the RV battery because, you know, we're boondocking so we can conserve. 
to a water pump, which I got plugged in. I already have it pressurized, right? So here's my on off for the water pump from the bladder to the water pump, out the water pump, through the hose, going into the filtration system. I have the Nautilus panel set to power fill, right? So all I have to do is turn the pump back on so that it'll start pumping. If you want to hold this, I'll plug her in. Alrighty. Let's see if this works. Yeah, you can hear water going in. You sure about that? Yep, I can see it going through the little filter here. Okay, do you have your water meter on? So no, I didn't have plan? No, I didn't. No, put why would we do that? Why would we want to put a water meter on there? That's just silliness. Right? Are we good? I think so. Other than that's being a little leaky. I don't know why it's a little leaky. <clears throat> that's better. Not so leaky. A slow leak. Yeah, but we're going through a, it's a house filter. So it's a five micron to a 0.5 micron. That way, and this is the same setup we have in the campground. That way our water's filtered. So when it goes into the RV, we can use it. All right, well, day two yesterday went extremely well, considering though we weren't really here all day. <laughs> we ended up spending the entire day with our friends, exploring a little bit and having some cocktails and having a good time. And we thought, okay, well the next day, we're just gonna chill at the campsite. It's gonna be 4th of July, nothing crazy. It's quiet, we have no neighbors and Joel gets called for work. So it's 4th of July, I'm by myself. But it's okay, he'll be back later this afternoon. So right now, just me and the dogs hanging out in this beautiful area. I mean, I can't complain at all. And if I did complain, I deserve nasty comments because this is gorgeous and I'm very blessed. And yeah, so just hanging out with the dogs, catching up on some work, got the generator going just to top us off because we got down to, let's see, we got home last night. I think it was at 54, I believe. So, and we didn't want to run the generator last night because we got home about 9.30. Even though we don't really have any neighbors, there was one that's parked across the way just for the night and it's not a loud generator. We just didn't want to be rude. So we had enough to get through the night and before Joel left, he plugged me in just so we can top off the batteries. I made some coffee, you know, little stuff like that, but we were doing good. So this boondocking experience so far, it's a win in my book. I mean, it's gorgeous. And so we're on day three. So we have, let's see, today is Thursday. We have Friday and Saturday left, and Sunday we'll leave to go to our campsite for the month. But for now, everything is going A-OK. -okay. Water's good. We don't have any issues with power. We did have to break out, like I said, the satellite or Starlink, whatever. But other than that, a okay so all right i'm gonna stop rambling because he's gonna tell me i'm rambling but i have no one else to talk to except to the dogs and they obviously as you can see don't care that i'm out here talking to myself so all right yeah hope everyone's having a good fourth of july and i hope joel gets home soon because i felt bad that he went off to work but when you own your own business you take it when you can get it so anyways guys we'll talk to you later and check in and let you know how we're doing bye guys all right, guys, so I'm just gonna give you our generator setup that we have for boondocking. Uh, it's a max peating rod generator, 3500 max, so it's putting about 3000 watts. One nice thing is it does have a 30 amp plug on it, so it's basically we're getting 30 amp service out of it. The um, one thing I did have to do because my watchdog is hardwired in, I had to put in a grounding plug, right? And all that is, is just a wire that goes from the ground to the neutral. I plug it in and that way it tricks the watchdog so that it doesn't see that there's an open ground and not work for us. So, but you can hear it running. We're just basically charging up the batteries. I think the lowest we've gotten to is 44. We're back up to 60 something now. So, you know, and that's with no solar. So we're doing pretty good, but yeah, here's the generator. Really simple to run, really simple. All I do is choke it, pull the thing, and usually it starts up with one pull and it's good to go. So I just wanted to show you our generator setup and kind of how noisy it is. It's, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not, but, or even hear me, we'll have to see. There you are. Hi. 
Hi. Well, we made it. Yes, full six days, five nights. I, I could have stayed two or three more nights yeah, if we didn't easy. already have a campground already booked. Yes. The only bad thing of the whole thing, <laughs> somehow picked up a bug or something from somebody. Not so, a little insect bug, but like. No, I haven't felt good the last two days, but <laughs> I mean, yeah. other than that, no complaints. So this is how prime our spot is. <laughs> we met these people. I think our second day or first oh, day. The first day we were the getting first day water. We were, we were coming up the hill and they were coming up. Well, they came in early. Here, I'll show you. They asked us when we were leaving. Yeah. So. Yeah, they asked when we were leaving. They needed to, they were wanting to come up pretty much the same day. So they came up a couple hours ago. Yeah. We sat and had coffee with them, chit chatted with them. Yeah. So Diane, good. Cam and Diane. <laughs> good job. I'm yeah. proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, super nice couple. Yeah. So, so now they get to enjoy the spot for a week. Yep. So, but yeah, this was a great spot. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Weather has been perfect. So, if this is what boondocking's like, unlike our last attempts, <laughs> we will be doing this again. And we did really well in the water. We did, yeah. In the sewer. Yeah. Everything. Yes. Ran the generator worked perfectly when we needed yep. it. I just need to upgrade and put solar panels up there. At Eventually, some point. baby steps. Baby. Some steps. of that costs money. Yes. You know, so you got to work harder. I thought you had a money tree. I do. It's bare. Oh. There's no more money. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> but All now right. it's time to pack up so they can get in here and yep. we can get to our campground. So yep. listen to, oh, that was what I was going to ask you. What? If you guys have boondocked up here on North Pole Road, what do you think? What was your best spots? Yeah. Have you seen this spot that we've been in? And what's your been experience? Because yeah. I forgot to ask earlier. So yeah. I want to know. Yeah. Leave us a comment. Yeah. So we got to get out of here. Yeah. We're done rambling. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> yes. But until next time. Get out and enjoy your adventure, guys. See you next time. Right, bye, guys. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking our channel. Don't forget to click that bell to be notified when we release another crazy video.